Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning for this really heart-centered yoga practice. I'm gonna go ahead and give everyone another minute to get settled in. So wherever you are, whether you're in you know, a yoga space or maybe you are in bed, just get comfortable, take it easy. This is like a very chill practice today. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started in one minute. But I encourage you during this time to start tuning into your breath and just taking notice of how you're feeling today, how you have been feeling during this you know, kind of like global crisis. Um, if that's how you choose to see it or this global awakening. So I'm going to do my best to keep this around 45 minutes. I know everyone's super busy and has lots of things that they are excited about to work on for the rest of the day. And happy Friday, yay. Don't have to forget what day of the week it is. So we're going to do a short yoga flow. It's going to be very um, gentle. We're going to get into some nice yummy stretches and then we're going to end in a nice meditation. The meditation will be sending the positive energy that we create during class today to anyone in the world who might need a little extra love and support. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin by tuning into the breath. Maybe finding a nice cross-legged position if this is comfortable for you. If you'd like, you can also sit on your knees like this. You can have a blanket rolled and tucked underneath or even a pillow if you're still in bed. Wherever you are, just get comfortable and start tuning into your breath. Maybe finding some organic movement in the spine. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Feeling your body in the space that it's occupying. Feeling the surface of the space where you sit. Choosing to breathe because it feels good, not forcing anything. Finding a moment of peace. And let's go ahead together as we inhale, our arms come up to the sky. Look upwards. And exhale, swimming our fingers down towards the seat. Linking our breath with our movement, we'll inhale as we rise up. And exhale, scooping the space around us, really feeling the air, how it feels on our palms. Inhale, our arms come up and forward as a sign of offering gratitude. Exhale, our palms come together down towards our heart center. Inhale, our arms come up. And exhale again down towards the heart center. Inhale once more, arms scoop up. And 
exhale, hands come down to your chest. Pressing your palms together as we place our thumbs to the indent of our chest, bowing our heads slightly. Inhale, exhale. Saying a prayer offering to anyone or anything that might need it during this sacred time. And when you're ready, inhale, our head comes up. We'll place our palms on our knees as we open our chest, reaching our chin forward. And exhale, rounding the spine as we come back. Inhale, increasing the shoulders, looking up. Exhale, rounding the spine as we tuck our chin in towards our chest. Inhale, lifting the shoulders, lifting the chin, lifting everything up. Exhale, rounding the spine, rounding the chin, rounding your back. Continue these seated cat cows at your own pace with your own breath. Begin slowly moving into your body, feeling any creaks or sore spots that might need a little extra love. And begin sending breath to those tight spaces. Maybe finding some organic movements in your neck, in your spine, in your back. On your next inhale, we'll meet towards the center, making nice spinal rotations, using your palms as kind of like a guide to push your heart forward, exhaling your way back. Finding gentle movement in your body, sending love to all the spaces, sending love to yourself for your practice today, empowering yourself to feel good during these uncertain times, knowing that it's okay to not know the answer to everything and trusting divine timing to guide your life, your light, and the light around you. And inhaling as we come forward, going the opposite direction. Feeling rooted in our six bones. Maybe picking up the pace a little bit as we begin waking up in our body. Good morning. And we'll inhale as we come back to center. Let's inhale, our arms come up. Exhale, we're gonna come down to the right side, elbows touching the floor, reaching, reaching, reaching with our left palm. But not too far, right? We're not trying to reach past our limits. We can see how far we can reach, but then maybe pull it back a little bit, making sure our shoulders, our heart is lifted up. And 
And together, let's inhale, scooping the space, reaching the opposite direction. Left elbow touches the mat. Again, if you want to see how far you can reach, oh, you're so awesome. Pull it back just a little bit. Doesn't matter. Just don't want to overextend ourselves during these trying times, you know. Just feeling easy in our body, easy in our breath, easy in our heart. Awesome, and let's scoop up the space once again. Coming back over to the right side. And this time we're going to take our nose and we're going to spin it down, looking towards our palm on the floor. Awesome job. Scooping the space once again over to the left side. Right arm lifts up and we'll exhale. <sighs> Nose spiraling towards our mat. And together we'll inhale, both arms come up to the sky. And exhale, twinkle those fingers down in front of you, reaching, 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 and ha. Ah, relaxing the back of your neck. This is really great too if you're practicing with a partner. You can take turns to kind of grab each other's hands and just ha. Ah, really let go. And I encourage you to, again, tune into your body, tune into your breath, tune into your feelings, and relax, observe, and just allow whatever comes up to be. So many times when we practice yoga, when we practice meditation, or any mindful, you know, kind of movement, we take what we're experiencing and we put it in a box and we kind of kick it out the window for a little while. We don't have to do that. We can make space for all the feelings, even if they're icky or not so good. We can use this time to breathe into our bodies, breathe into our mind and create space for the icky feelings and the good feelings to coexist. On your next exhale, sink a little bit deeper, making sure the back of your neck is relaxed. And slowly tiptoe your fingers back to meet your legs. Your neck is the last thing that rises up. And then we'll take our shoulders and just go up and back, forwards, up and back, forwards, up and back. And let's bring our shoulders all the way to our ears. Squeeze, 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 squeeze as tight as you can and ah, uh, let it go. Once more, inhale, lift up, squeeze, and let it go, awesome. Now we'll rotate the opposite direction, so shoulders come forward, backwards. Uh, just feeling some nice, uh, juicy movements in there. If you're like me, you might hear a little creaky, it's all good. And we'll go up one, yeah, up left, up right, up left and just shake it out, shake everything out, shake your hands, good job, whatever. Okay, let's come on to our hands and knees. Time check, great. Come on to our hands and knees and let's take our fingers and pretend like we know how to play the piano. Yeah, play your favorite piano song. And we'll rotate our wrists. 
open, close, open, close, open, close our palms. And we'll take our palms and we're going to place them on our mats or our mattress, wherever we are, making sure our feet are flat on our surface. And we're going to push into our hands. We're not lifting up, we're not doing anything. We're just pushing into our hands. And we'll rock forwards and rock backwards, loosening up the wrists before we put any pressure on them. And we'll flip our palms the other way. Oh, nice. And getting a counterbalancing stretch in our wrists. Awesome. Now let's press into our palms once again, this time tucking our toes underneath. We're going to press into our palms as we lift back and up into our first downward facing dog of the day. And we're going to take three breaths here, so let together, let's inhale, and exhale, relax the back of your neck, looking towards your knees. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, relax the chest closer towards your mat. Inhale, pressing to the palms. And exhale, awesome job. We're going to take our right leg, lift it up to the sky. Exhale, bring our knee in towards our chest, placing the our palm of our foot, that's a new one. The base of our foot on our mat as we lift up, making sure our knee is directly under our hip. And we're going to inhale, lifting up towards the chest, lifting up through our palms, feeling a nice stretch here. Inhale as we lift up. Exhale, placing our palms on our leg, stretch into our hip flexor. Awesome, now let's come back onto our butt as we lift into our chest is open. And we're coming forward, getting a nice calf stretch in our right leg. We'll inhale, lift up, and exhale, bring our chest forward. We're not trying to like come down or touch our toes or whatever. We're just getting a nice, gentle stretch. Breathing into our body, feeling into our space. Mm, let's rotate our toes. Mm, our ankle the opposite direction. Mm, inhale as we come back onto our foot, lifting our body up. Our foot is still tucked behind us, so we're going to lift up into a twist. Inhale. Exhale, making sure our right hip is back in space. Grounding in the back leg as we lift up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left arm comes up to the sky as we reach backwards. Exhale. Inhale, cartwheel the hands surrounding your foot as we lift back into downward facing dog. Coming forward into plank. You can come down on your knees, lower down to your chest and chin. Pushing forward into baby cobra. Inhale. Exhale, coming back into child's pose, tucking your toes. Lifting up, left leg comes up to the sky. Inhale, bring your knee in towards your chest, planting your foot on your mat. 
tucking our back knee directly under our hip as we push into our thigh. We'll inhale as we lift up. And exhale. Together, let's inhale, reach. And exhale, hands come back down towards your knee. This time pushing into your foot. Get a nice stretch in your right hip flexor. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, reaching backwards as your chest stays open, open, open. Exhale, your leg comes down straight. And rotating our ankles in the opposite direction. Inhale as we press our foot onto our mat. Lifting our arms come up. And exhale, hands come down to our mats. We're lifting up into a twist. Inhale. Exhale, come down onto your right knee, lifting up. Inhale, right arm comes up, reaches back. And exhale, let's circle our hands, come down, lifting back into plank, lower knees, chest, chin. Lifting up into baby cobra and back into child's pose, allowing your third eye to touch the mat. Hands can come out in front of you or behind to touch your toes. We'll take three breaths here, feeling our own breath. And on your third breath, push into your palms, tuck your toes, lifting up into downward facing dog. Right foot comes up to the sky, bringing our knee in towards our chest. We plant our foot in between our hands, lifting up. Inhale. And hands come down, exhale, stretching into the hip. Together, let's inhale, arms come up, exhale. Palms come down to the mat, coming back into a runner's lunge. Inhale, foot comes flat to the mat. Inhale, arms up, exhale, hands come cartwheeling down, lifting up into a twist. This time, let's come back a little bit, opening up the shoulder. And exhale, bringing our hand down towards our mat, tucking our knee as we lift up to a lunging twist. Left arm comes up, reaches back. And exhale, bring the hands down. Pushing to the palms, coming back into plank, lower knees, chest, chin, lifting up baby cobra or full cobra. And coming back through child's pose into downward facing dog. Left foot reaches up to the sky. Inhale, knee comes in towards chest, planting your foot on the mat. Together we inhale, rise. And exhale, hands come towards your knee. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, hands come up to the sky. 
exhale, palms come down to mat, reaching back, inhale, heart opens, exhale, sinking lower. Inhale, flattening the foot, lifting up. Exhale, hands come down towards the mat, lifting up into a twist. Inhale, exhale, open up through the chest. Inhale, back to center. Knee comes down to the mat as we lift up. Inhale, inhale deeper to reach up and back. Exhale, hands come down towards the mat. Left foot meets the right in plank. Lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, come back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, right leg comes in. Foot comes to the center and we're going to heel, toe, heel, toe our foot to the left side of our mat. As we lower, our knee comes down. And if this is not accessible for you, you can also come onto your back and place your ankle on your knee and just kind of like rock back and get a nice hip stretch that way. Otherwise, we'll meet in pigeon. Inhale, our heart opens. And exhale, coming down. Inhale, one more time. Exhale, allow the neck to relax on your mat. Maybe make a pillow with your palms to rest your third eye. So your neck stays straight and aligned. without opening your eyes, just bringing yourself back up. And we'll take our back leg, spin it around, so our left knee is right on top. Gomukhasana, we'll inhale, our arms come up, and exhale, placing our hands on our feet. Inhale, no matter how far, just come forward, opening the heart.
hands on your next inhale, slowly come up, back to rise. Taking the right leg, bringing it back behind us. Left leg comes forward now as we inhale, our arms come up. Exhale, bringing everything forward and down. Inhale. Exhale, pigeon on the left side. Slowly begin to rise once again. Lift your heart up. Taking our back leg, spinning, spinning it up and around, right knee on top of left. Inhale everything up to the sky. Exhale, hands come to the feet as we come forward to cow face pose. Inhale, your spine lengthens up towards the sky. And we'll take our feet as we spin them around, coming back into downward facing dog. And slowly walking our feet up towards our hands. We'll lower our seat as we exhale, coming down, 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 rolling on our spine, slowly engaging the core. The exhale. Down to our mat, lifting our feet up to the sky, rotating our ankles. Maybe point and flex, point, flex, point, flex. Point, flex. Keeping our feet flexed now, we can grab the outer edges of our feet, bending our knees, coming into a nice happy baby. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, letting go of our feet, planting the soles of our feet on our mat. We lift our hips up. 
Let's shift them over all the way to the right side of our mat. Knees come in towards our chest and over to the left side. Maybe our head gently rolls to the right. towards our chest and giving yourself a nice big hug saying thank you thank you for getting on your mat today we'll come down planting the soles of our feet on our mat lifting our hips all the way up and over to the left side so we bring our knees back in towards our chest and lower down to the right Head gently falls to the left side. Feeling open, feeling grounded, feeling supported. Knowing there is a divine plan in front of us and behind us and around us. Feeling ready and excited for the universe to show us the way. On your next exhale, we'll bring our knees back in towards our chest. Planting the soles of our feet on the mat again. Lift up. You can use your palms to support you in this bridge posture to represent the support of the universe around us. Inhale. Exhale. Together we inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down to the mat. And allow our feet to spread out. Maybe inching back if you found your way forward. And we'll tuck our shoulder blades underneath her torso as our palms gently roll up. Inhaling together. And exhale. Allowing our body to relax on our mat. Allowing yourself to absorb our healing energies and the healing energies of the earth. Feeling new space in our body, space in our mind, space to accommodate and to allow. Letting everything go, even the breath.
slowly begin wiggling your fingers. Inhale deeply as you move your toes. Together we'll rotate our wrists and our ankles. And we'll inhale as we take a nice big stretch overhead. And rolling on to the side of our body. Making a pillow with our arms. Taking a few moments here to acknowledge the fact that while we were in the womb, we trusted the universe to guide us to the ultimate birth on earth. And as we breathe in this fetal position, our body is subconsciously reminded of this truth. Whenever you're ready, inhale as you slowly use your hands to guide your way up without opening your eyes. Finding your way in a nice, comfortable, cross-legged position. We'll inhale and exhale. Let's rub our hands together, gathering all that positive energy that we created during class today, and we'll seal it into our heart. Inhale and exhale. As we breathe, we notice the feelings of relaxation surrounding our body. Our shoulders relax, our minds relax, our temples melt. And as we breathe, we feel this relaxation sinking into our pores. We feel this light surrounding us, this prana, this life force, this consciousness in everything. And this prana that surrounds us, we inhale and it nourishes our soul as we exhale. And as we continue breathing in this prana, we recognize its presence everywhere because we recognize its presence within us. We inhale as we feel the prana igniting our soul, lighting up like fireflies within our bodies, within our minds, within our hearts. And we feel this energy circulating around us as we feel the space around our body. We feel the space that we're occupying. We feel the prana on the surfaces of our skin. We trust the light to guide us through the darkest of the nights so that our light may guide the light of everyone around us. We continue feeling this prana around us and within us and we see this sparkling light everywhere as we project it outwards, visualizing planet Earth. We inhale 
exhale, sending our prana around us, around the earth, around everyone that we know, feeling its warmth, its energy, its light, igniting the darkest of nights within everyone and everything. And together we'll slowly begin deepening our breath once again. We'll inhale collectively and exhale our head comes down bowing to our heart. It is my deepest honor to be practicing with you today. I hope you feel good in your bodies, in your life and you feel optimistic about the path that is unfolding in front of you. I hope, it is my deepest hope that this light ignited in you, you recognize in everyone around you. As the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you.